Okay, so in this lesson, and for the next several lessons, we're going to start to explore some of the different light types found in Cinema 4D. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with some of our different light types. So we'll be looking at some of the different light types in Cinema 4D for the next several lessons. Let's go ahead and just start up at this top bar. And we've already had a chance to look at our normal light, sort of our omnidirectional light. Now we do have several other light types. Like I said, we'll start to explore these as we start to move a little bit further along in this course. Let's start right now with just the spotlight. So when we, or we drop this in, we have our light source here. And really, just like the name suggests, this is a light that instead of emitting light out from all different directions in a 360 degree pattern, this spotlight emits light in a very, very focused cone. Now, if we select our light, and go into the general tab um, you can see right now our light type is set to spot now as we mentioned in one of the earlier lessons we could take any of our light types in cinema 4d and convert that to any other light type so if i have my light set up and placed let's say it was an omnidirectional light and now i decide to make it a spot i could just simply drop that in and that is much much easier than deleting my light and creating a whole new one from scratch Okay, so let's take a look at some of the specialized attributes for this spotlight. These uh, attributes can usually be found in the Details tab. So here we have the inner and outer angle. Now these have to do with the uh, cone itself. So if I take my little spinner here and start to move that up or down, we can start to adjust this cone angle. We can also grab any part of the gizmo here and start to adjust that a little bit more interactively here in the viewport if you choose. Okay, so that is the outer angle. We also have this inner angle, which as we start to adjust this up or down, that's essentially controlling the softness of the edge of this cone. So you can see as I bring my outer angle, or rather my inner angle, to the point where it's the same as my outer angle, we get this really, really sharp edge. But by bringing that inner angle down, we're essentially telling the light to start decaying at this point along the edge. And then by the time it reaches the outermost edge, it's faded uh, to the point where there is no illumination beyond that point. So when it comes to taking a spotlight and moving it, it's just as simple as just grabbing your manipulator and picking that light up and moving it around. We can also rotate this light if we want to aim it in a particular area. Another really, really useful feature is we can actually take any of our light sources or really any object inside of Cinema 4D and then use that as a camera. And this is one way that I really, really like to aim something like a spotlight. So let's go to one of our other views and let's go to cameras and then uh, set active object as camera. And so now at this point, I'm actually looking through my spotlight and I'm moving my spotlight just like a camera. So this becomes really, really easy to come in and just aim my light right in the area that I want. So we could maybe choose this uh, grow shading for our display. There we go. Now we're actually looking through this light. And from this point, we could also come in and start to adjust our inner and outer radius. But this is a really, really useful way and a very, very fast way of getting things like your spotlights aimed right where you want them. Now sometimes you may have to uh, check some of your other viewports. It may not always update. You can see as I'm moving around and changing my illumination in my viewport down here, it's not updating up here. So just something to keep in mind. So once we're done with that, just do a quick middle click, and now we're back to where we were. Okay, very nice. So that is a look at the spotlight. There's actually another similar light type in Cinema 4D called a target light. And essentially it's the exact same thing as a spotlight with the addition of sort of an aiming target. So let's take my existing spotlight and I'll delete that. Let's come in and drop in a target light. Okay, so like I said, for the most part, this is absolutely identical to the spotlight. The only ad addition is we have now this target that comes with it. So now, instead of taking the light and trying to rotate it to aim where I want, it's actually, in this case, not even letting me rotate it because now the orientation is completely controlled by this uh, target light. 
So if we grab that target now, we can come in and point this exactly where we want. So depending on your particular needs, uh, you might find one or both of these useful. I typically find that for stationary scenes, uh, the normal spotlight is really, really easy to work with. But if you want to have something that is animated, maybe an animated sweep of your spotlight or an animated movement of your spotlight, this becomes much, much easier to control for animation purposes. So uh, whichever option you decide to go with, that is entirely up to you. Okay, so that's a quick look at the spotlight and the target lights in Cinema 4D.